What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, we have some really interesting stuff going on. So um, I wanted to do this quick video about Paul Brody and Foundation Disc Golf. So there's been a lot of, I wouldn't say drama, but a little bit of drama stewing in the disc golf community about uh, Zach no longer being a part of Foundation Disc Golf. Uh, they came out with this post here. And this basically said, the first year and a half has been a blast, but Foundation and Zach have decided to part ways. Sad to see him go, but wishing him the best. Um, so a lot of people are saying, you know, it must be a joke. What a sad day. Um, some funny jokes in here as well, but like all seriousness, Zach was a really good bit of that channel. And between Zach and Hunter, this was pretty much my favorite disc golf channel right now. Like him, uh, these guys, Jomez, Brody, and obviously, you know, the top guys, but, um, these guys made really fun videos. The podcast is fun and they're coming out with really good stuff. So now moving forward, we see this picture get uploaded big things going down on the podcast tonight you're not going to want to miss this paul and brody so we basically just from here uh this was one day ago and then this was 10 hours ago so once this came out i was like oh, okay here we go this makes more sense so basically i was like kind of out with the old in with the new type of deal now um they came out with the podcast. Uh, they were supposed to do it on YouTube, but then it came out on Instagram and it came out really crappy. And basically, just to give you the gist of what happened, they basically explained how Zach um, basically came in to be a part of Foundation because Paul was switching sponsors and needed to focus on actually playing disc golf and didn't need to spend time like working on the company. So then basically Zach came in to help run things with Hunter because Hunter had another business of his own going on. So then that's where Zach's role was in the mixture. And then we'll just listen to a couple clips of this. I had a couple timestamps that I want to just look into. So we'll have a quick listen and you guys can hear just a little bit of this podcast because I know all you guys aren't on Instagram. So I know not everybody's going to want to be able to go, uh, not, not even be able to see this. Exactly, but it was it was time for us to open up a disc golf company, and that's when we came up with Foundation Disc Golf. And it was originally Hunter and I's idea to do this, um, and it was a year in the making at that time. And with me switching companies, I had to go full focus into disc golf, and Hunter had his other business on the side, and that's kind of where Zach came in and, and helped us start Foundation Disc Golf, and so. I was kind of behind the scenes for the most part. It was just uh, Hunter and Zach doing all the work. Uh, I guess the manual labor right there, you know, boxing discs and, and getting things going and making all the connections. So um, now it's finally time. It's, it's been a year to where I can actually announce that I am part owner with these guys now. And um, I'm really excited. Uh, this, this, unfortunately, yeah, so basically Zach came in to help get things started. And then we'll jump up to another timestamp. I have one more quick listen to kind of just jump in i guess where paul left off um i i kind of got to a point of where uh me and paul had, had hung out enough and we connected not just obviously on the disc golf course but just on the business side of things and how both of us we just we work just as hard on the course as we do off the course and I was like, dude, I feel like me and you could figure out something um, and to really help help kind of blow this sport up and get a lot of people playing. And he's like, well, I actually kind of own part of a company already. And that's kind of where they, I guess he then talked to Hunter and Zach about, what do you guys think about adding on to adding Brody on? And uh, I was able to go up there and, and really get to meet them and hang out with them a lot during that signing experience. And I just remember as, as long as it took, cause I mean, we were there for ever signing disc and, and packing this. It was, it was so much fun. And, and just seeing how much uh, excitement it brought to so many people. Um, is my audio bad or are we good? You're good. Oh, we good? Okay. That was insane. Yeah. Are slowly picking up disc golf now I think foundation is going to be a great, great spot um, to really help them 
you know, understand disc golf, understand what disc to use, understand how tournaments work, where to play. So Brody basically goes on to explain the whole point of what he feels foundation is all about. And it's about helping disc golfers build a foundation to become better disc golfers, better tournament players, understanding courtesy and um, sportsmanship and all that kind of stuff. So that's what foundation disc golf was supposed to be about <clears throat> straight from the beginning. Um, there's still obviously like, you can tell like in the comment section, like people don't fully know what's going on. So people are like, oh, so Zach got bought out then. Um, yeah, it's just like people just don't really know. So people are like, oh, what happened to Zach? What happened to Zach? Blah, 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 blah. So it just seems like they phased him out a bit. I don't know if there's any, I, I was reading some forums and a couple comments that were saying like him and Brody have like bad blood for some reason, which I honestly don't believe unless there's actual evidence of that. So I'm just going to assume that, you know, they made it advantageous for Zach as well. Cause he did just have his own stamp come out. It was that disc of him falling down. Like I'm assuming he got the proceeds of all the, cause they, those all sold out basically instantly. So I'm assuming he either got the proceeds of that or he got compensated for his um, year and a half of work, or I mean, maybe he just got a salary while he was working for Foundation and building up the channel, and that was the agreement from the start. We don't actually know, um, but what I do know is that um, I messaged um, Zach on Facebook, uh, we're Facebook friends, and I said, hey man, uh, what's going on? Is, is what I'm hearing true? And he just read the message and didn't respond, so I don't know, that that's, makes me feel like there's some sort of bad blood because if it was positive news, um, these guys are both aware of my channel and the things I like to talk about. So I'm assuming if it was good news, he probably wouldn't have had a problem sharing it because uh, we've chatted back and forth, I think one other time in the past. And then um, I messaged Hunter and I was like, hey man, what's going on before this um, live podcast came out yesterday? And I was like, oh, hey, Hunter, what's uh, what's going on with you guys? Um, I don't know if you're aware, but I own Iceberg TV. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm aware of who you are. And basically was like, um, what we've put out is all we're putting out. And that's all we have to say about it. So it does seem like there might be some sort of negative connotations to what's going on. Um, but now I want to talk about the future of Foundation Disc Golf a little bit. <clears throat> so now they got Brody, they got Paul. Um, so obviously you're going to see a major shift in the channel and um, all these things that we've seen in the past, all these things that's been branded by Zach and Hunter, we're just going to see, and, and then Hannah obviously has been in there as well. And Paul has been in there more than, more than he has in the past, like he was saying in the live stream. But now we're going to see Paul, Brody and Hunter all working together, probably with Hannah as well. Um, then the last thing they talk about is... Uh, the new Patreon tier. Some people think it's a little bit crazy. I think it's a good idea. I think if people want these things and they're willing to pay for them, then I think they should be able to go ahead and pay for them. So they came out with some new Patreon tiers and they updated all the Patreon benefits to... Obviously, they, they've realized that this is where they can make the most money. And I couldn't actually find how much money they're getting on Patreon. I know on my Patreon account, it says how much I'm making because I don't feel like I should hide that so um, nobody signed up for these two big boy deals yet so they have the get freaky membership that's a hundred dollars a month and basically once you hit your six month anniversary uh, you get to have a phone call with paul brody and hunter and then they have the beast mode tier which is once you pay 500 a month for six months you get to come play around with team foundation then brody was like oh yeah we'll go eat some subway and hang out and then everyone was like, nah, we don't want to eat Subway, but we'll eat something else. So you can pay to go play around with these guys, apparently, as long as they're still in business in six months. So they updated all the Patreon benefits, which is really cool. I think that's important. If you're going to have expensive Patreon tiers, like people need to be getting their money's worth out of these tiers. And uh, I would like if Zach uploaded a video explaining his side of the story, because we know... Um, Paul, Brody, and Hunter's side of the story. And it just seems like Zach got phased out, but we're not entirely sure. And I don't want to speculate that anything negative happened because they all seem like good people. 
And I'm, I'm sure Zach got some kind of payout or some kind of conversation, or maybe he even chose to walk away on his own. I'm not really sure, and, and we shouldn't really speculate until we gain more information. And eventually more information is going to come out, and I'm excited to hear about it when it does. But, I, and again, I wouldn't say that this is disc golf drama. It's a little bit drama, but it's more so like three major players in the disc golf game have made like a, a tremendous shift in a different direction. So now we have Paul, Brody, and Hunter all just rebranded foundation and the logos changed a bit and like every, everything's just like, I mean, we're just going to see new stuff from foundation. It's probably going to be really cool and it's probably going to be an improvement from what we've seen in the past. So I'm excited to see what foundation comes out with. I'm still a fan of them. I just would like to see a video from Zach to see how um, his side of the story is. And we may or may not get that. But that's sort of my thoughts on this. And I'm, I'm assuming there's a lot of people who are curious about this and wanted to get caught up and wanted to hear what my opinion was. So leave in the comment section down below what you think of my breakdown. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of these Patreon tiers. I think they're a bit ridiculous, but I think it gets people talking. And I think when you get people talking about what you're doing, I think that's a smart marketing strategy. When Brody is talking about all the different tiers and explaining, you know, the follow-up that you get for being a patron and, and the benefits that you get, like, I mean, Brody's a business guy and, and, you know, I used to be a regional manager of a fitness company and, and the terminology that he's using is terminology that I'm very familiar with as far as sales and marketing goes. And, He's not stupid, he knows how to market himself and he knows how to monetize what he's doing. I'm really excited to see what they come out with and I uh, definitely wanna hear what you guys think of these tiers because they, they see the funniness value in what they're doing, but they're doing it to get people talking. And then if people actually pay for these, then they're just gonna be like, wow, I can't believe you know people actually did it, but they're gonna be pumped about it. And whoever does decide to do this, I'm excited to see if they actually get to play around with these guys. So leave it in the comment section down below what you think. Thank you for watching. This is Iceberg TV. Take care.